In April of 1999, one of Canada's leading dental researchers began calling for an end to water fluoridation. That researcher was Dr. Hardy Lineback, president of the Canadian Association of Dental Research and head of preventive dentistry at the University of Toronto. And I guess I'm here in Mississauga because here we have in yourself a practicing dentist an expert advisor to the Canadian Dental Association and president of the Canadian Association for Dental Research and the chairman, head of the Department of Preventive Dentistry at Toronto. But about a year ago, the name made headlines in Canada and beyond when you came out and said you were opposed to fluoridation. Mm. What led up to that? Uh, basically, uh, it started in 1992 when, when I helped a colleague of mine, uh, Chris Clark, who's a public health dentist at University of British Columbia. Together we organized a workshop uh, to look at the issue of whether or not fluoride supplements should be banned for children who are susceptible for dental fluorosis. What is a supplement? What's a well, fluoride? fluoride supplement is, is a tablet of fluoride that gives you the equivalent of a daily dose of fluoridated water. Uh, it's, it's a dose that, that we had always assumed was necessary to protect kids in non-fluoridated areas. So this would be a tablet that they would swallow? Yes, or chew and swallow. Chew and swallow, mm -hmm. yeah. And what was your conclusion about the benefit of the supplement? At the end of the conference, we had experts from all over the states and Canada come together. We, we came up with a new schedule saying basically, let's ban fluoride supplements for kids under the age of three because it was causing dental fluorosis and it wasn't providing that much of a benefit at all. Now, what was it then that took you from opposing supplements before the age of three to opposing having fluoride in the drinking water? A number of events occurred. Um, first, I was asked to reorganize another convention or conference on fluoride supplements because the organizations couldn't agree. Uh, so we convened again after five years in 1997. I invited a number of experts from all over the world and we had a, a new conference on fluoride supplements and during that time I reviewed the literature as well and discovered that there really wasn't any evidence um, that f uh, fluoride swallowing does any good. In other words, systemic fluoride has very little to do with protecting teeth. It's the contact of the fluoride with the teeth after they appear in the or oral cavity, after they erupt, uh, that provides the benefit. And that's when I decided that, wait a minute, we, we're now using fluoridated water as a drug. We're ingesting it. Uh, it really should be used as a mouthwash. We shouldn't be using it uh, to swallow and expose our kids to systemic fluoride. Now, how many dental researchers around the world agree with you that the benefits of fluoride are uh, come from applying it the, the fluoride directly to the tooth rather than through the whole body? I would say the majority of dental researchers who are knowledgeable about fluoride, uh, cariology, the mechanisms of, of how fluoride prevents dental decay, the majority would agree that it's a topical effect. Well, tell us more about industrial grade uh, fluoride being used for the water supply. Tell us more about that. Well, I had always assumed that the fluoride that we're using to, to fluoridate the water supply was pharmaceutical grade sodium fluoride. Then I found out that the majority of the fluoride that's used in fluoridating water supplies in Canada, I got a, a federal government document documenting it, uh, the majority of it is sodium uh, or hydrofluorosilicilic acid uh, or sodium uh, silicates, uh, fluorosilicates and these are added to the water supply to um, produce one part per million fluoride in the water. They dilute this stuff down to one part per million. Apparently this dilutes all the contaminants that are in there down to levels that are allow allowed by the EPA. Um, George Glasser showed me a list of all the contaminants in, in one of the articles he wrote and I could not believe that we were actually dumping lead and arsenic and even radium which is produced in the process of making this uh, 
this uh, pollutant. From what I understand, the pollutant is recovered from the smokestack scrubbers in the pho phosphate fertilizer industry, and it's, it's very rich in fluoride, very toxic, uh, but of course when you dilute it into the water supply, it goes down to one part per million and supposedly is quite safe. My concern is that we're building up the contaminants in our system. We know that lead accumulates in soft tissues, the brain, and, and bone. We know that actually lead accumulating in teeth make the teeth more susceptible to dental decay. My concern is also the radium contaminants that are found in uh, hydrofluorosilicic acid. This is, this is known now from the phosphate fertili fertilizer industry that when you make phosphate fertilizer, you release some of the radium from the, uh, the earth and this now gets recovered in this industrial grade fluoride that they recover from the smokestacks. They're putting this stuff in our water. And then I found an article saying that radium is the source or one of the uh, main reasons why we have osteosarcoma in Canadian children, a, an article written by Finkelstein uh, showing the connection between radium in the water and osteosarcoma in, ki in children. Uh, how many dentists in Canada do you think are aware that this material, this fluoride that is put into the drinking water actually is this industrial hazardous waste? Do you think most of them are aware or unaware? Most. If the only person teaching preventive dentistry didn't know about it, do you think anybody else would know? <laughs> no. I don't think even a single dentist knew until it started um, becoming more uh, of an open, open issue because of the anti-fluoridationists. Uh, when you talk to other dentists and they hear about this being an industrial waste product, does, does it phase them at all? Or what, what's the, reaction? First they, the first reaction is prove it. Yeah. <laughs> they, they don't believe it. They don't believe it. 